I'm here today to give you a daily update on chilies. As you can see, humongous symmetrical triangle at the top of an uptrend, guys. This means bullish pennant chart pattern, which means continuation to the upside. Apparently, as you can see, we have actually seen a massive wick to the downside, not actually seen a congruent candle close out of this massive level of support that we have seen here. So yeah, overall, still not looking too bad for Chili's there. As long as we can hold this support here, I would be looking for a next target to the upside of this very, very strong horizontal. You can see this, um, this yellow line coming through here, guys. Very, very strong as a horizontal there. The point to be looking out for there is going to be around uh, 34 cents there. As you can see, if we zoom right the way in, we've got the 200 EMA. That's that little juicy purple line there coming through as a massive level of resistance as well there so maybe we actually take a leg down from there and then try it again but we've only tested it once so far so hopefully we can actually break here on the second test if we do we could be looking at a very nice progression up to the secondary um, horizontal point which will probably provide some resistance there as we have seen here in previous price action there around 41 cents there hopefully that can actually play out i would say before that we're going to see moving averages coming down to say lower on the daily and we know they're strong on the daily guys so there's definitely going to be some resistance in this sort of area so i probably would expect us to be ranging in sort of this area for a while here but let's jump down to the smaller term time frames and see what's going on there and see if we can get any sort of position coming through there i mean in terms of breakout scenarios it's not looking very great yeah, not looking like the best scenarios in the world for breakouts. I would say potential for, we do have a trend line coming down like so, and also another one, another one <laughs> coming through around like so, right? And that's obviously um, obviously a parallel channel coming through there. And we are in the mix of a breakout for a parallel channel. So hopefully if we can see the measure move come um, come into fruition there, into, in, it come, come, come in, right? If we can see the measure move coming, that is going to bring us up to around that 35 cents and 6.8 there. That's obviously going to be a very nice, attractive level of support that we were just talking about there on the daily above this 34 cents. So if we can get above that, going to be looking a lot more bullish. But I would just want to say, guys, we have been bullish for like the last six candles here on the four hour considerable amount of time which is like 24 hours so i would say um i would say um i would say we do have a it's a bit longer than that no yeah, 24 hours so yeah i would say we do have um a potential for a bit of a pullback coming through that doesn't and and, and and that sort of instigates a bit of resistance coming through um at around this 34 cents 88 there so definitely a point to be looking out for there uh, for resistance if we can break it as i said lovely stuff um but yeah definitely um Definitely a pullback potentially needed there, guys. In terms of lower highs and stuff, we do obviously have this insane dump to the downside, guys. Obviously, we've got lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Let me draw these in. We've got lower highs, lower highs, um, lower highs coming down from this insane dump and lower highs yet again. Now, where are we in terms of invalidating lower highs? We're literally on the cusp, guys. We're on the on the cusp. We're on the, we're on the testing point here. If we can get above this um, this horizontal here, we're actually going to be above all um, all these major lower highs from that insane crash that we've just seen coming through there. So that's definitely going to be a point to be looking out for because if we can get above that, if we're invalidating these, that's a very big bullish sign, guys. It's a very big bullish sign. Shows a lot of momentum to the upside if we can actually get that. In terms of higher lows here, obviously we've got that insane low point from that. Um, from the from the insane crash and everyone just got really scared and sold a lot of their, a lot of their stuff right that's obviously the low we do have higher lows coming through from there but we did actually see another leg down creating a very very a lot more stronger higher low here so that's yeah, definitely um um, definitely, definitely a point to be looking out for there. Um, in terms of a higher low to be looking to be um to be to be basically respecting, right? As you can see, we do have higher lows being set in terms of this micro uptrend. So yeah, I wouldn't really be that worried until we sort of um if we lose this zone around thirty two cents seventy five in this pullback, um then that's the point to be worried. That's the point to be worried in terms of when I say worried, I say potential for another leg down. Um, something along the lines of this, probably this zone here around thirty one eighty nine. But overall, guys, trend is your friend. You're riding that bad boy till the end. Targets are these lower highs, just in summary there. Overall, not too bad for uh, for Chili's. Hopefully, you can see that momentum gain. Um, but overall, you have actually seen um, you, you reclaim a very, very, very strong trend line here on the daily. So, yeah, looking pretty bullish. Looking like there is room for growth here, but um, not, not the quickest growth in the world. I would say quite a bit of slow growth. But, yeah, overall, quite nice for Chili's.